Hello class, this is chapter 1.6 and in this video we are going to discuss reducible second order differential equations. So thus far we have been dealing mostly with differential equations that involve x, y, and y prime. And but a second but sometimes you can solve second order differential equations and a second order ODE differential equation involves x, y, y prime, but also y double prime. And this can be quite a bit harder. Uh, we will deal with more second order equations in the following chapters of the book. However, if y or x, uh, let me write down an or instead of a comma there, if y or x is missing, we can reduce a second order differential equation to a first order differential equation. Now here's what I mean. The first case y is missing. So our equation just involves terms of x y prime and y double prime. In this case we can make a substitution p equals to y prime and this leads us to p prime equals y double prime. So our differential equation can be written as x p p prime which is just going to be a first order equation. In the second case, we have x missing. So our equation involves y, y prime, y double prime. This one is a little more tricky but we have to make a substitution p equals y prime. Let's just write this down as dy dx. Okay. And what's going to happen is that y double prime, which is all going to be equal to dp dy, is going to be equal to Oh, sorry, dp dx. So this is going to be equal to dp dy times dy dx. Okay? And we know that p equals dy dx, so this is just going to be equal to dp dy times p. Alright? And this is significant because this means we can rewrite our differential equation y, p, and dp dy times p, which is still going to be a first order differential equation. Right. Um, obviously, once we do this substitution, in either case, we have to substitute back to find a solution. But that typically isn't too hard. We will go through examples in the next couple of videos.